We are sitting indeed in amongst, well, at a small gap of the, in between the big green trees, the big band of big green trees. I'm not going to try and continue to talk about big bands of green trees because I'm getting myself all tongue-tied. There's a crocodile. And yesterday, this crossing, the cul-de-sac crossing, was the scene of, uh, well, what should we say, a massacre, if you like, of Thompson's gazelle. Apparently five of them were whacked in quick succession by these crocodiles here and so we came to see if there wasn't some more Thompson's gazelle crossing action here doesn't seem to be at this stage but we're going to go to all the northern crossings and see if there isn't a little massing of Tommies because it is quite fascinating to watch them try and cross the river and unfortunately we you know it happened all happened so fast we recorded it on uh, our river camera but we were not able to sort of broadcast it but we'll put a highlight up on social media at some stage and you'll be able to see it because it is astonishing especially when you see the speed that crocodiles are able to move in the water like little speedboats um, Craig there's also a small one I know the light is going to be orrid but over the top of my left shoulder there's a small one basking there and just the there yes on the edge of that peninsula there we are little crocodilo. Now that crocodilo will be largely a fish eater at this stage of its existence. Moving on to smaller mammals and perhaps uh, the odd bit of rotting flesh that it can find under the surface of the water. But it's done pretty well to get to that size. Remember they give birth to sort of, well they don't give birth, but they, um, they have many many eggs. I think I'm more than a hundred in each clutch and so few of them will actually make it to adulthood so that chap's done very well. Riti, while we look at this seemingly very uh, well used crossing you say is it the main crossing during the migration season? Riti, there's no real main crossing. There are some that are more frequently used than others. This isn't actually one of them. The what we call the main crossings are just a little bit further along the river from here. But, you know, the wildebeest will cross at a lot of different places during the course of the migration season. And, yeah, I mean, this is one of the major crossings that they use, but I don't know that you can ever describe one as, you know, the main crossing, although we do have one that we call main crossing. Okay.